Mathematicians, are you ready to practice subtraction using something you already know, a known fact, or addition? The following slides will flash quickly. You will have to see how many dots or beads that you see and how you know. Then you will be asked to subtract some of the dots or beads. Try to think of an addition fact or another fact that might help you solve the current subtraction fact. And some of these will be different. Some of the ones I show you will just be a math problem with the numbers and not a picture. So there's a little bit of a variety in this video. Okay, here's some fun. How many do you see? How many did you see? Can you subtract four of the beads? How many would be left? You're right, four. Eight take away four is four. A lot of you probably know that because four plus four is eight. Okay, let's try another. How many did you see? Think for a second. Think for a second. Take away seven. Take away seven of the beads. How many will be left? How many were on the top? How many were on the bottom? Take away seven. You're right, it's seven. 14 take away seven is seven because seven and seven makes 14. You're using addition to show what you know about subtraction. Okay, here's another one. How many did you see? Think about how many were on the top and how many were on the bottom. Take away nine. Take away nine. Okay, how many are left? Nine. 18 take away nine equals nine because nine plus nine equals 18. I know all of these have been doubles so far because you can use your doubles to help you do subtraction when it's a double. Okay, here's another. How many did you see? How many on the top? How many on the bottom? How many all together? Take away eight. Take away the bottom row. I bet you already know it's eight. 16 take away eight equals eight. Now, hopefully along the way you've been thinking, okay, I saw 16, I'm taking away eight. Let's try that on the next one, okay? How many do you see? How many did you see on the top and bottom? How many all together? Okay, think of that number, how many all together? Take away six. How many will be left? You are right, six. 12 take away six equals six because six plus six is 12. Let's try another. Oh, this one's a classic. How many was that? Think of it in your brain. Take away 10. Oh, you guys, you are right. 20 take away 10 equals 10 because 10 plus 10 is 20. Okay, mathematicians, on the following screens, there's gonna be no pictures. It's just a math problem, a subtraction problem to be exact. So then the first, here's the first one, excuse me. Here is the first one. 12 take away nine, 12 subtract nine. Think about how you might solve that. I hope you immediately thought, wait a minute, nine plus three is 12, so it's three. 12 take away nine equals three. Remember we talked about that counting thing? I want you to try to solve these problems without counting. So I know you could have gone 12, 11, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. But that was using counting. So without counting, how could you solve this? Maybe you would make a 10. You would go nine, one more, two more. Hey, it's three. So think about how you could solve these without counting. Here is another one. What's 15 take away 13? Think. It's two. 15 take away 13 is two because 13 plus two is 15. Here's another last one. 
Oh, this is a doozy. 13 take away eight. How could you solve that without counting? Now, some of you might be doing a strategy and you might be chunking it back and taking away. Some of you might be thinking of counting up. I hope you thought of eight plus five. 13 take away eight is five because eight plus five is 13. Maybe you think of eight and you're like, whoa, I'm close to 10. And then three more is 13, so it's five. Okay, mathematicians, now we're going to go back to some pictures. So you will see 10 frames again. So how many dots do you see and how do you see them? Here we go. How many did you see? Take away three. How many were there? I'll let you see it one more time since this is the, this is the first one. How many did you see? Subtract three. Take away three of the dots. How many will be left? You're right, 13. And almost every young child I talk to, first or second or third grade, they go, well, six take away three is three. So 16 take away three is 13. But you don't have to count, you just know. You don't have to go backwards, 16, 15, 14, 13. Six take away three is three, so 16 take away three is 13. Okay, here's another one. How many do you see? Take away six. I'll let you see it again, because I know I might be going kind of fast. How many did you see? Picture it, picture it in your brain. Take away six. Okay, where are you taking away those six? Did you take them away from there? You might not have, and that's okay if you didn't. But I'm thinking eight take away six is two. So 18 take away six is 12. Who got the answer 12? You might have just known that. Okay, here's another. How many did you see? Take away two. I hope you think it's 13. Five take away two is three. So 15 take away two is 13. Okay, on this next one, I want you to try to form the subtraction equation or number sentence in your brain. How many do you see? Okay, take away three. So think of how many you saw, subtract three. What is it? It's 14. Look at the picture. Seven take away three is four. So 17 take away three is 14. Okay, here's another. There's three left. Hey, are you ready? Here's another one. How many did you see? Subtract three. Form a subtraction number sentence in your brain. Okay, I hope you saw 11. 14 take away three is 11. Did you form that number sentence in your brain? Let's try another one. How many did you see? That was a lot. Oh, I want you to subtract four. So think about the number that you had and subtract four. Did you see 15? 19 take away four equals 15 because nine take away four equals five. Okay, there's one last one. How many did you see? Take away two. Form that subtraction sentence in your head. What did you see? I hope you saw 13 take away two equals 11. Let's move on to some different ones. Are you ready? These are number sentences again. Now these are all about relationships. So you really gotta think, are you ready? If 16 take away 10 equals six, then what is 16 take away nine. Think about that. It's 
seven. 16 take away 10 equals six. So 16 take away nine is seven. That's using something you know. I have had lots of young students in my day relate two problems to one another. So if you already know something in your brain, use it to help you solve something else. Here's another one just like it. If 14 take away seven is seven, because that's a double, then what is 14 take away eight? If you take away more, hmm, how many will you have left? You're right, it's six. If 14 take away seven is seven, if you take away one more, it's six. Using one problem to help you solve another. Okay, one last one of these. If five minus four is one, then what is 15 minus four? Oh, I hear a lot of students saying, it's 11 because you have another 10. You're right, 15 is 10 more than five. So one plus 10 is 11. Lots of students tell me how to solve that one. Okay, we are at the end of this video. We just used addition or something we already knew to solve all of those subtraction problems. So on the left-hand side, I have problems that you can try to solve using something you already know. So use addition or use a fact you already know. I bet a lot of you will use doubles on 14 take away seven. And then on the right-hand side, I put some harder problems that maybe if you were solving those in your brain, instead of counting, how could you use addition or another known fact to help you? Try those on your own. Try some of those, pause the video and try them. Otherwise, I hope you had a lot of fun doing so many problems with me. Keep practicing your subtraction facts.